Brady. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new here, hi, hello, welcome. We are a family of four. It is myself, my husband, and our six and three-year-old girls, plus a crazy dog and crazy life, crazy hours. I work part-time, plus YouTube, plus school. Um, I'm in college, and then my husband works full-time crazy hours. The girls are in school and preschool, and plus it's, you know, like a pandemic. So life is busy, life is weird, and I thought I would just share with you today my grocery haul for the week of Thanksgiving, but I would also like to share with you kind of some tips and tricks to save on grocery delivery. So if that is something that you're like, I really would just, I really need delivery, or it would really be helpful, um, then maybe these tips will kind of help you out. It's just a few short and simple ways, and I'll tell you kind of how I saved on this week's grocery haul. All of this together was $154. Uh, there were a couple of Christmas presents. So those are not out, uh, so they're not included in the total either. That's just what's on the table. Um, that does not include my tip. That will be about $10, and... Um, but all in all, $160, I had it delivered. I didn't have to go to the store and I got a heck of a good deal on some things. So let's jump on into it and see what I got. Okay, okay so this is kind of mixed all together um, from Kroger and Target, but um, I just threw it all in one table. So um, I did place this order with Shipped. If you've never used Shipped before, um, I've got a code down for you down below that will save you some money on your membership. And then also check out my Ibotta link down below because Ibotta, you can now link your shipped account and get savings on different items as well. I didn't check Ibotta today. I was just honestly in the midst of kind of a chaotic morning trying to place an order. And so I just placed an order, but you can link your shipped account or even your instacart account with ibotta you can even do this with walmart grocery pickup and this would be my first tip for saving on groceries being delivered use my link down below and you'll get an additional ten dollars back when you redeem your first rebate even if that first rebate is for 25 cents you'll get an automatic ten dollars and um, I know that some of those items on the free Thanksgiving dinner through Walmart and Ibotta, those are still available. And there's a video popping up here for you in the iCard if you wanna check that out of how to do that deal. So that's tip number one, use Ibotta and link it to these different grocery delivery service accounts so that you can get credit for the items you're buying also. Tip number two, lots of things in these apps also go on sale it's not just whatever price they make up um, like at target there's not really a markup for shipped because target owns shipped so you're gonna pay pretty much the in-store price almost all the time um, sometimes you may even get a better deal on shipped so that's something to consider as well and right now I know shipped is running a deal where you can, uh, it's normally $99 a year. That gets you free delivery, as unlimited amounts of deliveries for the entire year. And it's a great way to save because you're not paying any service fees and any delivery fees, no matter what, $99 a year. But they are running a Christmas deal right now. And if I can find the link for that, I'll link that down below, where you can actually save $50 on a membership right now. $49 for the entire year. So sign up for that. It's a great way to save. So look for those deals. So number one, link Ibotta, join Ibotta, link the account. All you've got to go through is link the two accounts for the first time. And then weekly, just go through before you place your order and hit the little plus sign on all the different offers. And then whatever you purchase, they'll track it and they'll automatically give you that money back. When you hit $20, you can cash out and you will be good to go. So, um, so tip number one, link I bought a tip number two, watch for sales on ways to join these, um, delivery services. I know Walmart's doing a deal right now. I know shipped is doing the $50 off. 
I think there might even be a deal on Instacart. I'm not sure, but I know all of them run promotions, so check that out. Then tip number three is to check their sales. That will help you out exponentially because like I said, although Target, when you order through Shipped, it's pretty much the store price. Sometimes you are gonna run into a better deal on the Shipped app than you would find in store. So it's really gonna balance out. Like for instance, these eggs at Kroger are $1.78 at my Kroger in store for 18 eggs. But on the, the Shipped app, they were $1.29 for an 18 count of eggs. So that's just the difference there. Something to look out for. Um, like this ground beef is not on sale at my Kroger, but it was only $3.49 for a pound of Angus beef 80-20. So that's something to look at too. And, um, you know, I'm trying to think if there was anything else in particular. I know grapes at Kroger tend to be cheaper through the shipped app. Lots of ways to save, so check those sales. Shop the same way that you would weekly checking sales and stocking up. Just do it through these delivery services. And so, you know, their uh, rotation of sales may be a little different, but not a whole lot. And then the final tip that I have for you is to check different stores within those apps and place multiple orders. That can really help you out too. And as part of looking for sales that, let me just turn you around for a second. As part of looking at the sales that that store might be having, right this week, I took advantage of with Target, you spend 50 and get either $10 off if you order it from Target.com and just sign in with your shipped account. Or if you go through your shipped app, it you get a $10 shipped credit on your next purchase. It's immediately there as soon as you receive your target order. It was $50 all, or $10 off any $50 in groceries, and that's what I did here, so I saved $10 right off the bat. So that's another great way to save. That's going on through tomorrow, the 21st of November, so um, you know I'm gonna get this up tonight for y'all. It's four o'clock now. I'm hoping to get this up within the hour, and hopefully y'all will be able to check out that deal too. Enough of my chit-chatting, let's get into what I actually purchased. Okay, so down here, I got two pounds from Kroger of the Private Selection Angus 80-20 ground beef, ground chuck, um, $3.49. This was a kind of a splurge, but I just wanted an easy dinner for tomorrow while I'm working. $9.49 for this family size orange chicken. This was from Target. Two of these Lunchable, well, it's like the Lunchmakers brand, two bologna. Just as a treat next week, they are out of school all next week for um, Thanksgiving. And so I just got two of those just as a treat one day. This was $4.69 for two puff pastry sheets. The Pepperidge Farm brand, this was from Target. That's for an appetizer for Thanksgiving. And then $1.99 a pound. And then I got, it was $8.32, 4.18 pounds. Boneless skinless chicken breast from Target. $1.34 for the craft or the market pantry version of the Kraft American Single 16 slices. Then from Target, I got a half a pound of the Boar's Head Maple Honey Turkey, and that was about $6. And then I got a half a pound of White American Cheese for a queso dip recipe. That was about $4. And then I got 0.55 pounds for about $7 of the Boar's Head London Broil Roast Beef. Two salsa con quesos. These were $2.19 a piece from Kroger. $1.59 for, no, $1.69, sorry, for the Kroger Deluxe Mac and Cheese. That's for the girls one day this week. Um, obviously, they'll have a lot of leftovers. They can't eat that whole box. Two boxes of the Kroger brand taco shells for taco night this week. Another easy meal leading up to Thanksgiving. Um, and these were $1.29 each. Uh, eggs, like I said, $1.29 for 18. So I did get three of the 18 counts. One Milo's tea from Target. That was $2.99. $2.69. And $2.69 for each um, gallon of whole milk. No, I'm sorry. At Kroger on the shipped app, there were $3.29 per gallon of milk. That's actually about average around here though, so it's really not. I mean, it might have been 50 cents more than me going in store. And then $2.89 for a Simple Truth 
um, chocolate almond milk and two eighty nine for a half gallon of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Sixty nine. And for the sixteen ounce of the Kroger natural sour cream, I like that one. Doesn't have any additives. Sixty nine cents for a pound of baking soda. Dollar fifty nine for some blue bonnet. Um, we prefer real sticks of butter around here, except for my husband likes that on toast. So, or a baked potato. So I keep that on hand for him. $2.29 for an eight ounce bag, nope, six ounce bag of um, fine cut Parmesan cheese. I actually like the shaved cheese, the shaved Parmesan cheese that comes in the little cups, but for the puff pastry recipe with the pesto and chicken, um, I need the fine cut. At 99 cents for cilantro, that was from Kroger. And then these were each $1.19. I got um, the bite-sized tortilla chips, the two of the wavy classic potato chips. I'd actually ordered the ripples. That's fine. I'm not. It's not a big deal. Two of the kick of lime tortilla chips. All of those were from Kroger for $1.19 each. And then the party-sized Doritos were $3.99 at Target. Then you can see back here at Target, these were three for 12 and I got a 12 pack of Mountain Dew and two of the 12 packs of Pepsi. 99 cents for some shredded iceberg lettuce. This is an eight ounce bag from Target. And same thing, 12 ounce bag of garden salad blend from Target. And it was 99 cents as well. A dollar 49 for a head of um, celery. And then one pack of green onions was 99 cents. Um, one green pepper from Kroger was 69 cents. A, he, um, a loaf of the Market Pantry white sandwich bread from Target was $1.59. $1.99 for the Louisiana sweet uh, iced tea bags was from Target. $2.29 for the mini frosted Little Debbie donuts from Kroger. These were from Target. It was the Good and Gather chunk light tuna and water, 79 cents each. I grabbed four of those. These are for my husband. He still has some from last week, but it's just something I like to keep on hand with his crazy hours and um, kind of switching back to day shift and everything during the holidays that help him out. Five of those energy shots. It's the Kroger brand. He says they are very comparable to the five hour brand, but I don't care for any of those type of things, so I wouldn't know. But they're $1.59 each, so definitely cheaper. Brioche buns. Archer Farms brand four pack for burger night one night this week again with the easy meals y'all um, and these were $2.49 then I'm not sure I think these were $2.89 at Kroger these nature's own brioche style buns as well I didn't realize they were brioche I'd actually because <laughs> you can kind of see but um, I'd actually ordered the Sara Lee Artisano buns and that was just for the sandwiches, uh, like the deli meat, but this will be fine. We've got cheese and everything, so we'll be good to make sandwiches. They had to substitute this, and I said that was fine. And then this is not a grocery item, but I did get it up, get it at Target. It's a two-pack of the men's Goodfellow and Company Adult Reusable Face Mask, large, extra large. That was four dollars for the two. And then $3 for another bag of these addicting white chocolate sugar cookie M&M's. $2.89 for the peanut M&M's. And $2.89 for the peanut butter M&M's. We're stocked on candy even as if we didn't have enough. But, you know, whatever. Uh, $2.79 from Target. Oh, those were from Target as well. And $2.79 Classico traditional basil pesto. It's 8.1 ounce. That's for the... Um, puff pastry appetizer thing for Thanksgiving. This was $1.59. I wanted another whipped vanilla frosting for my stepdad's cake. His birthday falls on Thanksgiving this year, so we're making him a cake and I have everything else, but I needed another frosting. And then this is just the two pound buttermilk self-rising cornmeal mix, white lily. We don't actually, this was $2.09. We don't actually make cornbread all that often. Um, honestly, maybe like four or five times a year. But I am making chicken and dressing this year for um, Thanksgiving, and so I needed cornbread mix. And um, so that's why I didn't buy a big one. It would definitely be more cost effective to buy the big one. But there we go. $1.59 each. I got two Hamburger Helper Deluxe Beef Stroganoff just to stick in the back of the pantry. 
This is to stock the pantry as well. We only use one of these per meal, but um, it's the Old El Paso Cheesy Mexican Rice. I got these from Target. Those were from Target. This was from Kroger. Um, and last two things, this is to go with the orange chicken, and then we've got some veggies and salad mix. Um, but I got two of the microwave 90 second basmati rice. They were $1.39 each at Target. So that is everything that I got. Like I said, lots of easy meals. Um, I still need to go, all in all, that was a hundred and, what did I say? Now I gotta think about that. $154. I don't know if I said that at the beginning correctly. Hold on, let me flip you around. Okay, so I hope you can hear me. Uh, I had to switch to my phone because the camera battery was dying on the GoPro. But anyways, um, so like I said, $154. Our weekly grocery budget is $180. So that does leave me room to go and get my turkey um, tomorrow after work. That's when I'm going to go grab that because they are 47 cents a pound at Kroger. So I'm going to go there and grab that turkey and then their butter's on sale $1.99 a pound. Aldi is cheaper, but I do have a couple of Kroger Home Miller coupons for the one pound packs of Kroger butter. So it's going to make it cheaper than Aldi. Plus, I just need to run in one store, grab the turkey and butter and come home. Um, after work. So that's my plan there. And so that's our meal plan coming up. If you're interested, um, we are going to have, we are eating out tonight. Tomorrow will be, um, what's it called? Well, we're not eating out. We're not going in somewhere. We are picking it up and bringing it home. Um, what are we having? So that's tonight. Tomorrow we're having the orange chicken and rice and veggies. And then Sunday, Sunday, I think we're having the tacos. Um, so we'll have tacos, rice, and the, che the cheesy Mexican rice and beans on Sunday. Monday, we are going to have, what did I put on the menu? I think we're going to do the like shake and bake chicken, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then I'm not sure. We'll just kind of wing it. We'll probably do burgers one night. And then um, I think I'm also gonna do a chicken taco soup one night. And then obviously Thursday is Thanksgiving. Friday will be leftovers. Saturday we will be with some family. So we'll probably eat out on the way home. Sunday will be more leftovers. And then I'll have more groceries and we will meal plan for the next week. That's it y'all. We are set for Thanksgiving. I'm hopefully gonna bring, fingers crossed, my camera out and film a little bit while I'm cooking everything for Thanksgiving since lots of y'all have wanted to see what we're making. If you have not checked out, uh, but it will be up after Thanksgiving. Next week we will still be posting a Thanksgiving Thursday video on Thanksgiving Day, so be looking for that. And if you have not checked out the other Thanksgiving Thursday videos, I will link the playlist up here as well in the description box below. My house is chaos. And uh, please leave me a comment if you are new. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Please subscribe if you are new and you liked this kind of um, chatty grocery haul. And if you like cooking videos and all of that, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're new here and say hello. Let me know if you, um, you know, what you're, even if you're not new here, please tell, say hi. Tell me how you're doing and leave me a note about what you're having for Thanksgiving if you're doing anything, if you're staying home, what your plans are. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all have a safe and happy and relaxing Thanksgiving weekend. And for those of y'all outside of the U.S., I hope y'all have a wonderful, fantastic week. And until next time, I'll see you in the comments down below. Bye-bye!